Yo, <clears throat> what's up? This is Nate Diaz, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Thought I'd come on here just real quick, you know, <clears throat> help Ricky out, you know, kind of hype up this uh, silly fight <clears throat> against Vanderlei Silva, if you know what I'm saying. I don't even know why I'm even fighting, <clears throat> but uh, my brother Nick and Caesar Gracie kind of forced me in, <clears throat> kind of forced me in on this, but... Uh, it is what it is. Thought I would show what I know and show what I do, if you know what I'm saying. But Vanderlei, if I had to say, man, <clears throat> he's kind of old, man. He's kind of old. He's kind of older than, uh, kind of older than Santa Claus, if you know what I'm saying. But enjoy the fight. <clears throat> Props to Ricky J uh, for letting me speak, man. But uh, I'm out, man. I'm out. <laughs> What's up, people? This is Ricky J, man. I am pumped for this fight. Quarterfinal matchup, Vanderlei Silva going up against Nate Diaz. Winner faces Conor McGregor in the semifinals of this BMF Grand Prix. Oh my gosh. And you're probably sitting there and you're like, you know what? We heard Nate Diaz, brother. Huh? But what's going on with Vanderlei? What does Vanderlei Silva has to have to say about this fight? But don't worry, man. I got you. I got you because I spoke to Vanderlei before um, he actually got ready for this fight. And this is what Vanderlei had to say. Uh, to me, to me, an idea is no problem. Uh, to me, he like to talk. He like to talk like Chesson, but uh, to me, it's no problem. To me, he's like a chicken. Yeah, he's like a chicken, you know, like you take a chicken head, uh, you cut it, and he runs like crazy. That's him. But uh, for me, he likes soft, uh, soft version of his brother, but to me, it's going to be no problem. No problem at all. <laughs> I love how Vanderlei, when he laughs, man, he like laughs like a wild beast, man. He goes like rah, 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 like that. You guys notice that in his interviews? But um, holy cow, I don't think I've ever been this excited for a matchup. Just because we know how much power Vanderlei Silva has. And if you've played this game, man, you know that both of these guys have their own custom animations and that's how UFC 4 should be, shouldn't it? Huh? It should be like that where every guy has their own custom animations that complement the style that they have in real life. And EA Sports did a phenomenal job at animating both of these guys so their moves are authentic to their style. So you'll see that in this fight and it's actually um, a cool little treat to see um, what could be done when it comes to the animations and programming and you know me man you know me when it comes to animations I have like a newfound love for animating and um, doing impersonations and all that but as far as animations are concerned it's really cool what they could do if they could really caption the moves of every fighter on the roster I know it's hard to do but man if they could develop a team put the time in give us updates throughout the course of the game being released and that way we could have you know, authentic animations for each fighter. But we're going to see that here because um, nobody throws hooks like Vanderlei does in this game. And the ones and twos that Nate does, it's very um, Stockton-like, you know, very Diaz-like where they kind of just kind of throw it out there, man, just kind of let it go. 70%, 50%, 40%, and then 100%. And you'll see that. That's what I love about the Diaz brothers, that when they throw their punches, there's no wind-up, you know what I mean? And they're not looking to take you out with one shot. They're looking to, you know, drain you out with volume. And, um, you know, they do triathlons. These guys are in shape. And it's quite amazing seeing them fight. I wish they would fight more. You know what's qu kind of a disappointment is Nick, man. Nick Diaz being on the shelf for so long. You know, we're, we're not seeing... We're missing out on great fights and he may not ever come back which is quite sad oh Vanderlei wants nothing of Nate and Nate is trying to show some love for the pride legend so here we go if I had to put money down I don't know if it's on the feet obviously it's Vanderlei if it's on the mat Vanderlei's got to watch out for the submissions and you guys know man the AI is not the best at getting out of submissions but he's shown some pretty good escapes in their last two fights so here we go in my opinion, Nate, he's got to stick and move. He's got to use his length. Oh, what? That's crazy that he rocked Vanderlei this early on, you know? Vanderlei is looking slow. Nate's quick, man. He's quick with the hands. 
And here we go. The, so the old software update. <laughs> you see what? Uh oh, this is what Nate's got to worry about. Nate tried to stalk and slap him there early. But this is what Nate's got to worry about. Wow, Nate's got the plum. He's being the denying dingo right there. He is trying to deny the transitions of Vanderlei. And this is great. This is great stuff because this is Vanderlei's bread and butter. You know, using the knees, using the plum. A great job on Nate. And Nate loves to, in real life, even clinch up sometimes, dirty box, as Conor McGregor, you know? Get in there close and just wear out his opponent. He's doing that here in this fight. He's got to watch out for that stamina. You guys see that? Both guys, their stamina's low. Got to say good job on Vanderlei's part for not taking any big bombs. But this is quite an interesting start right here. And you guys know, man, this could end quick. So keeping it locked, man. <laughs> keeping my eyes just <laughs> glued to my screen right here. Just as Tony Ferguson. Remember that? Well, look at these guys working here. This is a grind. And the casual fan. Oh, he rocked up again. I was going to say the casual fan would think that, you know what, that's kind of a boring sequence. But nah, man. That is hard work right there. And this is a fantastic start by Nate, throwing shots. And remember, Nate Diaz is a natural lightweight, and Vanderlei is a light heavyweight, so this is pretty surprising. Oh, he threw the stock to side. Uh-oh, this is bad news for Vanderlei. I was going to say, it's pretty surprising that Nate is doing this well on the feet, but this is where things get crazy. This fight could end right here. Oh my god, I'm going to lose my mind if it ends right here. What? What is he doing? Nate definitely having, you know, the advantage on the mat. And he decides to keep it on the feet. And even though he was doing well in the beginning of this round, you know what? You're playing with fire, brother. You're playing with fire when you're dealing with Vanderlei Silva. And if, uh, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Vanderlei Silva. Hold on one sec. Hold on. Let's, let's just see the sequence before I get to my point. Ten seconds. Oh. Nate's back in the way. He secured the round. That was Nate Diaz round right there. But Vanderlei Silva retired me from the light heavyweight division on ranked. I used to go on ranked and play in the light heavyweight division, you know, using a little Gustafson, a little John Jones, you know, throwing a little, uh, you know, Chuck Liddell. And I bumped into a bunch of Vanderleys and I couldn't hang with them. That pressure just um, was too much for me and it made me <laughs> uncheck the box of light heavyweight when I play on ranked. <laughs> it's not so funny. So he is deadly. He is a deadly striker. So this is kind of surprising. Let me know if you guys um, <laughs> stop playing a certain division just because of uh, a certain fighter. Um, you know, I know some people say they don't do the lightweight division because of uh, Habib, but there's so many good fighters to use in lightweight that it's hard to not fight in lightweight. But yeah, let me know what division you stop playing because of a particular fighter. But here we go. Nate's got to watch out for that head. He has good head health. The thing is, Diaz's speed is what's winning him this fight. And, and his length. He's longer than Vanderlei, which is quite surprising because he is the smaller fighter. But he's just kind of like <laughs> it's like Plato man how long he is long and lean this is a fantastic start if you're a, a Nate Diaz fan you got to be happy but you got to be a little worried when the fight stays like this especially in close quarters like this nice kick by Vanderlei oh nice push up oh no oh no <laughs> this is uh Oh, nice. Good push away right there by Nate. But that, this is what I'm talking about. This pressure that Vanderlei puts on people in this game is hard to deal with the, with the power and the stamina. Oh, what's he doing shooting for legs? Why would he go for a takedown? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's one. Uh-oh. This fight could be done. Uh-oh, rubber guard. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Bye-bye, Vanderlei. <laughs> the chances of him getting out are pretty much slim to none. Oh, no. Look at him. He's, it looks like Vanderlei's already out. Look at him. It's done. What? He got out. He got out. Vanderlei Silva showing some fantastic heart right here. <laughs> 
Unbelievable. Oh, good job. This is a smart AI player right here. Knowing what his strengths are. Vanderlei stamina is low, though. Nate has to stop kicking. Definitely has to stop kicking here. Nice. Oh, good sidestepper footwork. A nice little pivot right there by Vanderlei. Gets out of the way, and he's doing it again. But that also tax your stamina, so you got to be careful with that. What a crazy fight, man. This is turning into a classic. I can't... Uh oh Rocked. I cannot believe Vanderlei got out of that. Oh! That was nice. A nice jab and then a rear roundhouse. Missed it. Vanderlei still zombieing forward, throwing those hooks. Nice shot to the body. The distance game by Nate. Oh my gosh, is it over? What? Oh, it's not over. The distance game that Nate Diaz is putting on Vanderlei is he's doing a fantastic job. Hitting, hitting him with uppercuts. Vanderlei is hurt. Almost got finished twice in this round. Holy cow, you could say that that could be a 10-8 round, right? Almost a, a submission, almost a tap, and then a knockdown? Man, Vanderlei's gotta, he's gotta wake up here. But the good news is, if you're a Vanderlei fan, you know, there's three more rounds. He's gotta put together, you know, some good rounds here. He can't be dropping any more rounds, especially if this fight goes to a decision. But down he went. Almost thought the fight was done. Just because, you know, he was taking damage before in that first round. But the heart of Vanderlei is, uh, is alive and well. And let's see what happens here in this third round. Shoutouts to Kali Baker. If you didn't know, man, I did some, uh, I helped out Carly Baker with an Instagram post a couple years back. And that's up there in my uh, top three favorite moments as a YouTuber, helping out Carly Baker. The real Carly Baker. But anyway, let's focus on the fight. Oh! And now the tables have been turned. But, oh man, he shouldn't have jumped into guard. He shouldn't have jumped into guard. And now Nate's got the mount. But he's seeing stars, man. He got rocked, but he seems to be recovered. Seems to be okay right here. But great start by Vanderlei, but he shouldn't have jumped in. Oh, but he gets up. Good old Mo is on Vanderlei's side. Momentum has swung on the Brazilian right here. Nate's got to stop throwing body kicks. He's leaving his head wide open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Vanderlei could finish you with no stamina. <laughs> so don't let that uh, stamina drainage fool you. When he's down with low stamina, those, sh those shots take up damage if you know what I mean but look at this nice that's the classic Diaz style rocky to the head and then work your body holy cow seesaw battle in this third round nice denial Van see Vanderlei tried to get the plum and now he's here we go now he's in single collar and Nate Diaz man getting that clench <laughs> almost thought I heard the crowd booing did you guys hear that for like a second Wow, oh, he's rocked again. Vanderlei is hanging on here. Nice head movement to avoid that shot right there. So it almost seems like Silva, oh my gosh. Silva's looking to load up with one big shot. But he keeps on getting rocked. But the thing is, you gotta, I don't know, man. You gotta kind of give the round to Vanderlei for that knockdown, right? Oh my gosh, he could be out. He could go could go right here oh and all it takes is one Vanderlei shot <laughs> and the fight could be turned upside down oh he kind of like hyper extended his left knee there did you guys see that wacky animation but yeah with that drop you got to give the round to Vanderlei Silva <laughs> this is crazy I'm, I'm speechless man I'm speechless Oh, nice. Nice sidestep. Got to watch out for that. You sidestep into a hook. It's nighty-night. Game won't give you a chance. Oh, both guys taking a breather. Oh, oh my gosh. Now Nate is hurt. Every time Vanderlei hits him with a flush shot, Nate gets rocked. 
Oh, it goes, tries to go for the plum. It gets denied. <laughs> Look at Silva. <laughs> Back it away. In pure walking dead mode right here. Oh, Stockton slap. And he gets rocked and dropped. Oh, I see how, like, the last two seconds of that round determined the winner of that round, in my opinion. Because you got to give, kind of got to give that round to Nate now. Oh, Vanderlei should have just backed away. He should have just backed away and not engaged. But they are showing highlights of Vanderlei. It was a close round, man. It was definitely a close, close round. Oh. <laughs> If I'm if I'm in Nate's corner, I would say don't throw any more kicks, no more kicks, B block your head. And if I'm in Vanderlei's corner, gotta tell him just try not to clench with them. Don't obviously don't go for takedowns and just pick your spots and try to hit him with that good shot, a good straight. One straight will rock Nate, especially at this state of the fight. So here we go, championship rounds. Winner faces Connor. Look at that stamina on Nate's part. Oh, Nate's got some good stamina. Vanderlei's stamina is not the greatest, but it's not that bad. Nice slip straight. Didn't get a rock right there. Didn't get a rock. Both guys being a little cautious, but oh, nice. <laughs> I got. I love the animation of when the guys are tired and they still try to sidestep. Uh oh. Oh, down he goes. Oh, Nate had a chance to finish it, but he backed away. Wonder if that's gonna cost him. He hit, oh, and now he pounced and it is done. Nate Diaz is going up against McGregor. Look at him. I was going to say something. Oh, I thought he was going to say something. <laughs> He's looking for the camera. Here we go. Yeah, man, where you at, Connor? That's it, man. I'm coming for you. You got my money. <laughs> what a fight. It was crazy. When this fight was going on, I'll be honest, I was kind of cheering for Nate. But as the fight went on, I was rooting for Vanderlei, man. <laughs> but it is what it is. The famous MMA line of all time. And now we have the semifinal set. It's going to be the rematch. Diaz-McGregor 3 in the semis. And then on the other side, we'll finish the other two quarterfinal fights. Can't wait for those. But keep it locked here. I'm going to do my best to try to get these fights out before the UFC 4 beta drops soon. All right, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. That was so much fun. Have a great day. This is Ricky J, man, from Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome. Peace. Are you intoxicated or something?